let us solve these algebraic puzzles. Okay, so once you look at this, you see letters and numbers. So one of the big questions that students have, can letters be numbers? Okay, numbers can be anything. It can be letters, it can be figures. You can make, uh, there are, in maths, there are, uh, in fact, any mathematics uh, is made up of these five numbers. One, zero, most of you know one is zero. The other main numbers that we use in maths is E, which is a number, I is a number, and pi is a number. So all these are letters. This is a Greek letter. E and pi are English letters. One and zero, of course, are well known. E is 2.7. Uh, this number goes up to infinity. Okay, this number. I is square root of negative 1. And pi is 3.14. And this also goes up to infinity. So this is, let me show this first on a calculator. E is a number. Oops. So let me show you. Menu, run. So if you press shift E, this is a scientific calculator. If you type in 1 there. This is 2.7182. This number, actually, calculator has gone only up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The calculator can go only up to 9 decimal places. But this number goes up to infinity. This never repeats. And this is a magical number. So this is widely used in maths and even in science. Okay, now to show pi, pi is again a magical number which is 3.14. This number also goes up to infinity without repeating any number. It's not a recurring number. This number keeps keeps going to infinity without repeating itself. Okay? And on this calculator, I hope you know, if you go shift square root of negative 1, uh, you have to change the setting. So let me show you that first. So let me change the setting. I need to change this into a plus b i form. Okay. And if you go shift square root of negative 1 is i. Can you see this letter? This is an i, which is an imaginary number. Okay. So uh, those who haven't learned maths uh, uh, beyond year 12 would struggle to understand what I was trying to uh, explain. Okay. Let's look at this simple. Any student of even in primary school should be able to do this. So you're seeing 4C. I can see 4C, 4S, sorry. I can see 4S's here. So this is S. I'm re going to read this like this. S plus S plus S plus S is 16. So there are four lots of 16. Sorry, four lots of S, which is 16. So. 4 lots of s is nothing but 4s. 4s is 16. So this is an equation. So if 4s is 4s, 4 lots of s is 16. I hope you can see s is 4. Okay, or think in a different way. Can you understand 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 16. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 4 times 4, which is 16. Okay, so you can write 4 here. So these are 4 lots of 4, which gives you 16. So I can write 4 here. So S is 4. I'm going to put wherever I see S, I can, I'm going to put 4 here. Okay, so the rest I think would be much easier. You can take your own time. You can pause the video and try to do this yourself. So here I can see you got 4. Let us look at vertically. So this is, you got 4 plus u plus u plus u is 19. So think about logically. So this is, this has to be how much? This has to be 4 plus what is 19? So well, 4 plus 15 is 19. So u is equal to 5 because I know 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15. So my u, so let me use a different color for u. So this is u is 5. So I'm going to write 5 in place of u. Okay. Okay. Do I have any more u's? No. Okay. 
So what else do I have? Okay, so here you have got, okay, so here can you see this is 4 and this is V plus V plus V. So you go 30, I'm going to do this in different way. 13 take away 4 is, uh, 13 take away 4 is 9. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. So you have to have, let me use a different color for V. This is 3. Am I right? 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9 plus 4 is 13. So this should be 3 here. So in place of V, I can put 3. Okay, what do I have? So have I answered everything? No, I want to find T. Okay, if I find T, I can answer this question. Ultimately, I want to answer what's this question mark. So this is 5 plus 3 is 8. So 12 minus 8 is 4. So T has to be 2. Does it make sense? Because 2 plus 2 is 4, and 4 plus 8 is 12. So if t is 2, this is also 2. So this question mark is the addition of these four numbers. So 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 5 is 14. So let me check the other way around. 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10. So the answer is 14, so the answer is right. Okay, let me do one more. Okay, the, these two is something that you can try yourself. So, so how can we do? So you got four Ds here. So 24 divided by four is seven. So let me make this a bit bigger so that you can see clearly. I've got more writing space here. So I can write seven here. Seven, 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 okay. Or 7 times 4 is 28. So how did I get 7? So I divided 28 by 4. That is 7. So I can write 7 here. Yeah. So D is 7. D is 7 here. Yeah. Okay. Do I have any more D here? Yeah, I got a D here. Yeah. So I can write 7 here. Yeah. Now what can I do? Okay. So now I have to find uh, you got A and, A and C here. Yeah. So that's not going to help. What do I have now? Okay, so here you've got two A's. So I'll think like this, 24 minus 14 is 10. So A has to be 5. Because 10 divided by 2 is 5. So this is 5 and 5. So you've got a 5 here. You can put a 5 here. Any more 5's? No more 5's. Okay, what can I do next? I've got, uh, yeah, so this I can write C. Because now this is? 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 7 is 17. So C has to be, so this is 5 plus 5 is 17 plus 3 is 20. So this is 3, so this is 3, and this is also 3. Okay, so now I need to figure out B. So I can figure out B because this is 7 plus 5 is 12, and 16 minus 12 is 4, so this has to be 2. So this has to be 2. So let me check. Does the numbers uh, tally? So this is 12 plus 2. 14 plus 2 is 16. This is 12, 17, 20, 28. This is 14 plus, yeah, so this is, now I can answer this question. This is easy. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 3, 17. Okay, so this is how you solve this puzzle. So these two, uh, you can do yourself. Look at this and try to write a number corresponding to each figure. Same way, you can also look at this and solve this. So let me drag this and place it here so that you can see it together. So, so this is something that you can do yourself. So this is bigger, so you can do this in your own books.